Welcome back, guys, to the RXFL. We just wrapped up week number 14 with a huge Monday night football game between the Celtic Tigers and the Portland Lumberjacks. Do check it out in the rain. Crazy ball game that had a near miraculous ending. You guys want to check that out in the archives for today. We're going to recap everything you saw in week 14. We're going to preview week 15, and we're going to hit you with a little extra bonus news for those of you watched on Twitch. Hopefully it's something you guys are excited about. So glad to have you aboard real quick off the top. If you're watching on Twitch live with us, hit the follow button, twitch.tv slash tbsports27. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe button and hit the thumbs up. Do a uh, show Luna. It's, a, it's feeding time. The food just dropped and Luna went from fast asleep to just woke right up, man. I can imagine just waking up and eating. And uh, if you are... Uh, so inclined, check us out at patreon.com slash tbsports27, and we want to give Patreon shoutouts off the top. We want to thank Mr. Maple, Justin Russell, Jonathan Harrigan, and Ultrafan K. Duckman. Thank you guys so much for being Patreon subscribers. We appreciate it, and we got a bunch of Patreon bonus action coming your way tomorrow, Sunday. It's Patreon Sunday, so do, uh, do tune in for that. So let's see, any big news? So this is, like I said, it's going to be a recap of week 14, a preview of week 15, and we're going to kind of see. Now, you see some of the stuff. How's Tom Brady still playing? Hall of Fame, all this stuff. I went in, and I dropped uh, Tom Brady's age down. I don't know if that will allow him because he's still a, a 19, 20-year player, but I lowered his age, so I don't know if the game will like not make him retire or not. Him and Peyton Manning are the two I'm worried about that in this game they're not like custom characters so i'm worried that they'll retire them but you know more opportunities for other guys and we can always figure out a way i suppose to to bring them back but let's take a look here let's look at what we got league schedule we just finished up week 14 in the rxfl and let's kind of see where we are so we got the uh pittsburgh sting with a seven-point win over the Marshalls. How about this blowout shutout? The Memphis Egyptians, who have been one of the worst teams in the league. The Orlando Wizards, they had the big upset victory a couple of weeks ago. It was our first time seeing them, and people thought maybe they were going to make a playoff run. They just got blown out by Memphis. That's kind of wild. The New York Shamrocks, I would dare say a big upset win because the Redwoods have been one of the top teams. They've been struggling as of late. The Redwoods. Had the loss to Salt Lake City and now the loss here to the New York Shamrocks. The Armadillos hang on in a much closer battle than it should be. That's a playoff contender going against another team that people consider one of the worst in the league, the North Florida Cheetahs. Of course, we streamed this one. You can check out this game in the archives. Mexico City, a battle of top five teams here. And they get the three-point win. The Chicago Cougars, they up and they are trying to make a playoff rally, folks. They have pulled it together. They were bad at the beginning. They have pulled it together, and they're knocking off win after win, looking at a playoff run. The Philadelphia Benjamins, a seven-point victory over the Las Vegas Firebirds. The Atlanta Dirty Birds, Tom Brady knocking off the Tampa Bay Mutiny. The Mutiny are another playoff team, so that's kind of a, a bit of an upset there. The Dirty Birds knocking off the Mutiny. This one we streamed as well, the Toronto Huskies. Big win over the San Francisco Demons. You guys can catch that in the YouTube archives. The Houston Voyagers, now with Troy Aikman. They get the win over the Tennessee Oilers, a low-scoring battle there. The Brooklyn Beats. That will effectively, I would think, end the London Bulldogs season in a shocker because the London Bulldogs were people's team to win it all when the rosters were first set. They get beat by the Brooklyn Beats, and that should take them out. Oklahoma City Lancers, the victory over the New England Nightmare, 23-3. to The LA Kiss, a win over the Salt Lake City Elks. That should all but confirm their playoff bid. These games, you can check out Dallas and San Diego on Patreon.com slash TBSports27. Sunday Night Football exclusive to there. A uh, close contest with Dallas getting the win over San Diego. Portland, we just streamed this one a couple of minutes ago. The 14-point win over Dublin, a near comeback for Dublin. And, of course, we kicked it off with this high-scoring one. It was Columbus and London. Columbus getting the win, and again, 
the archives on YouTube is where you want to go to check out that game. So we'll look at the standings here and playoff supremacy starting to shape up. So you can see now we can officially introduce the London Monarchs and the Austin Armadillos into the postseason. So let's look at the American Conference here. You got the Armadillos and the Monarchs who have clinched. You got the LA Kiss, the Redwoods, the Lancers, and the Huskies looking like those might be your top teams here. The Brooklyn Beats, the Celtic Tigers, and the London Bulldogs maybe still an outside shot, but it's not looking good. I think almost you have to think the American side is, uh, is kind of set up here. The Beats, I mean, they could make a run, finish 9 and 7. Same thing for the Celtic Tigers. We were saying they were done, season on the line, but they still got an outside shot. Uh, it's going to be a lot tougher here. Uh, I mean, you still have teams that can finish 8-8. Eight and eight. The Pittsburgh Sting, though, from where they were to being at 5-8, and eight, that is pretty impressive. But you're kind of looking uh, at the bottom of the barrel here. And then the national side, the Lumberjacks, of course, 12-1, and one, the class of the league. you got to think Mexico City is going to be clinching fairly soon. There's the mutiny, and you talk about that upset. Boy, the Chicago Wolverines, they were 9-0 and oh at one point. They are now 9-4. and four. And that was the other upset we talked about was the St. Louis Rhinos getting beat because that kind of puts them as a bubble team when you got the Desperados, the Aviators, the Benjamins still with an outside, outside shot, Brady and the Dirty Birds trying to make it happen, the Cougars trying to go on this magical run. They've won two in a row. They're trying to go 8-8 eight and eight and sneak in. Uh, the Demons, they had that really bad loss. And then uh, you can, I think, pretty much say the Marshals, the Egyptians, the Wizards. And a surprise right there, the, boy, I, <laughs> you almost feel bad. The Omaha Firebirds, now the Las Vegas Firebirds, they were the worst team. You guys you have heard us recap it in the uh, Revolution League. The Omaha Firebirds, five years, the worst team. The standings, all the stats from the first five seasons are up at patreon.com slash TV Sports 27. You can check out the, the RFL last season, the fifth season on our YouTube page. But the Omaha Firebirds, they had um, Randall Cunningham didn't get the job done. They switched to Archie Manning for a time. They switched to Joe Theismann. They settled in on Jeff Hostetler, never made a playoff performance. They moved to Las Vegas here, that same team. They got... Uh, Aaron Rodgers, Vegas, people thought, okay, this might finally be it. They are the 32nd ranked team. Whether the Omaha Firebirds, the Vegas Firebirds, they are the uh, the worst team again. So this uh, this poor team just cannot get the job done. So now uh, let, let's take a look. Has there been any transactions, any trades that have happened? Um, well, here you can see our edits. This was us trying to edit. Uh, Rodgers and Brady to bring their age down so that they would not get uh, they would not get retired. So uh, draft class here. I don't remember what draft. We did WWE, didn't we? I think we did like the WWE. We did movie stars for our other one. We did WWE here. Um, Chad Ochocinco, that was we changed his name. Or I think we changed his number. Um, this one, we gave Elway his face back because <laughs> he didn't have a face. Um, I need to make Ocho Cinco one word, though. I'll do that at some point. But other than that, nothing. I mean, there's been no big trades or anything to be known at. To, it's just been kind of random signing. So nothing that's really been at least out of the way. Boy, week four, they just... Oh, this is preseason. Okay. I was like, they went to town on week four with all these signings. Let's preview... The next week in the RXFL, so we are going to stream week 15, the first game, and I got a little a little extra for you. For those of you on Twitch, we're going to upload it to YouTube as well. I want to get to the playoffs. I want to get in a little quicker, so we're going to play. We're going to stream commentary, the Thursday night football game, and then right after that, we're going to play the opening Sunday game here in the RXFL right here on Twitch Computer versus computer with the in-game commentary. So you guys are going to get three games here on the channel today on Twitch. That will allow us to get to the postseason 
a little bit quicker. We're going to stream the Sunday afternoon game. And then, of course, Sunday night football will be back on Patreon. And then we will be streaming the Monday night football game. So let's look at what we got on the lineup here. Thursday night, the game that we're going to be streaming with you guys, it's the San Antonio Marshalls and the London Monarchs. London, who just clinched a playoff berth but still looking to increase their standings. They got the Marshalls, who are still hoping to fight for a playoff opportunity. You also got Monday night, and it's unfortunately not going to be a game that is, you know, we need flex scheduling. You got the Bulldogs and the Sting. The Sting maybe still have an outside shot. I guess both teams still technically have an outside shot of the postseason, so it might not be all for naught. And this one, you guys are going to want to tune into. Patreon.com slash TV Sports 27. That is where the Sunday Night Football RXFL games live. How about this legendary battle between Dan Marino and Tom Brady? Both teams fighting for their playoff lives. The Cougars have won two in a row. The Dirty Birds are clinging on. They just had a big blowout victory over the Mutiny. That's going to be a big one. The only way to see it is, uh, well, we'll stream it on Twitch, but we upload the on-demand at patreon.com slash TV Sports 27. So now let's take a look. What is our 1 o'clock game that we are going to stream with you guys today? That could be a good one right there. The Wolverines and the Rhinos. Um, I think that might be our best bet. Maybe this Huskies-Shamrocks uh, game. But when, if you're looking at all the top teams... And I like to try to get a little bit of variety. I know we're seeing a lot of the same teams, but as we get kind of down to the stretch here... You're getting, you know, you're going to see a lot of the playoff games, but the Voyagers, you know, losing record, two teams with losing records here. These are two playoff teams right here, and I think that would be an interesting one to see the the computer battle it out. Of course, the Wizards losing record, the Elks losing record, both these teams losing records. The Egyptians, we already streamed that once on Patreon. It was a big old blowout. And then, uh, so I think that's what we'll do. I think we'll do the Chicago Wolverines and the St. Louis Rhinos. We'll stream that for you, computer versus computer, right after. Let's see, the Aviators and the Firebirds, the Aftershocks and the Demons, the Lumberjacks and the Desperados, the Armadillos and the Beats, and the Kiss and the Redwoods. That could, that, I think that might be the game right there, Kiss and Redwoods. When you're looking, let's see. Um... Of course, Aftershock still fighting for the postseason. Lumberjacks and Desperados could be a really good one because Desperados are a playoff team. And I was really looking at this one just to maybe see Michael Vick and Patrick Mahomes. But when you're talking about playoff teams, you look at the Redwoods and the LA Kiss. I think those are the two teams because that is, and I think they're in the same uh, conference, right? They're both in the West, the American West. So I think that makes that even bigger. Yeah, that's look at how big that game is. I no doubt about it. We got to stream that one. That that's a game that uh, without a doubt we got to be we got to be looking at. I mean, armadillos are at the top. Beats that could be interesting as well. But I think that's the one we go with. And then if you look in the national, this is a uh, another playoff contender game here. So I think that those are the ones we go with. So I think we got a solid schedule. So. All right, I think that's what we're going to go with. Thank you guys for tuning in here to this Week 14 Recap, Week 15 Preview. Coming up on twitch.tv slash tvsports27. Coming up next, we are going to stream Marshall's Monarchs with you. And then right after that, we are going to do the Rhinos and the Wolverines. That is going to be computer versus computer. And then we will be back. We are going to stream. We're going to take control, and we will do the Kiss and the Redwoods, and then Sunday Night Football, Cougars, Dirty Birds is going to be big business, as well as you got London and uh, Pittsburgh, who is going to be your Monday night game, and it could end up being a big playoff uh, a playoff run there. So we're getting down to it. Three weeks left in the RXFL season, and we got two games coming your way next on the channel. We'll see you then. If you're watching on Twitch in just a few moments, it's coming your way. If you're watching on YouTube, we'll be back tomorrow with more RXFL action.